Welcome to Derm Engine. In this video, I'll be showing you the basics of how Derm Engine can support your daily clinical workflow. With helpful information about how to add images, perform basic analytics, add diagnoses, and share patients. Let's begin. Derm Engine works best with Google Chrome. Open your internet browser and visit dermengine.com. Log in in the top right corner. Derm Engine is available wherever you go, allowing you to work between your smartphone and computer with ease. Since Derm Engine is a cloud-based software, pictures taken on your phone instantly appear on your computer for seamless connectivity. Let me walk you through the mobile app and a clinical workflow for your practice. First, let's create your patient. From your patient's list, press the Add button to add your patient. A form will appear for you to simply fill in the patient's information. Once you're done, press Register Patient. To add a spot, press the mole box icon. Next, use the body icons or pan around to center the camera over the desired area. Tap the area to place the spot. Don't worry if you make a mistake, simply press again to relocate the spot. You can easily navigate the 3D body map with just a few taps. To zoom in and out on the map, use two fingers to pinch the screen. To rotate the view, use one finger and drag the body map. Finally, you can pan around the screen by simply dragging with two fingers. A quick tip, you can tap one of the body part icons on the side to focus on that area and make the spot easier to place. Tap the area to place the spot. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Simply press again to relocate the spot. Then hit Next. Now we're ready to add images. Let's start with the overview image. Press the overview icon to take the image. Focus the camera by tapping the spot. You can now crop or retake the image if necessary. Next, let's add the dermoscopic image. Attach your mobile dermoscope to your smartphone. For the best imaging quality, make sure your phone and device's lenses are clean. If you're using a moleScope, be sure to turn on the light by pressing the button. Next, tap the dermoscope icon. Again, remember to tap to focus on the spot. Next, I'll show you another imaging workflow for fast follow-up appointments, SmartSnap. For follow-up images, rather than wasting time trying to find a patient's spot, SmartSnap suggests the most similar images using DermEngine's AI, letting you locate it in a matter of seconds. To get started, select your patient and tap the SmartSnap camera icon in the top right corner. Like before, you'll take your new dermoscopic image. SmartSnap will then recommend which spots look most similar. Simply tap Assign or create a new spot. Additionally, this intuitive tool lets you capture several images without changing screens. Once complete, you have the option of deleting any images you do not wish to keep. To take an overview image, simply press Overview, remove your moleScope and take the image like before. Again, remember to tap to focus on the spot. If you have additional spots to follow up with, select Next Spot and repeat the process. When finished, tap Done. Whereas the app is great for imaging and on-the-go tasks, the Derm Engine web platform is specifically designed to help you gather deeper insights while analyzing your patient's images. Combined with AI for clinical decision support, DermEngine optimizes sequential digital dermoscopy imaging. Working together, you'll get the most out of all of the different features while achieving maximized efficiency, quality, and accessibility. Let's take a look at the computer where your images and patients are ready to go. In your patient's profile, you have several tools to help you analyze lesions. The image registration tool automatically rotates your dermoscopic images to the same orientation so it's easier for you to view. 
The Evolution Tracker takes these images and creates a slideshow allowing you to easily identify potential changes over time. Visual Search is an educational tool that retrieves visually similar images from a large database of confirmed dermoscopic images. This is to support you in your clinical decisions. So it's important to remember that the provided pie charts are based on statistics of similar images, and it is not a malignancy probability of the query image. If you see a listed image that doesn't appear similar to your case, you have the option of removing the image from the list to help improve the accuracy of the provided statistics. Now that we've analyzed this patient's spot, it's time to document it by adding a clinical diagnosis. To do this, click the clinical diagnosis button in the action bar along the top. A pop-up will appear allowing you to fill in your diagnosis with a wide variety of options. Next, you have the option of referring the case to a colleague in your Derm Engine network with the purpose of receiving a diagnosis. This is useful for when you wish to receive a second opinion on a case. If you'd like, you also have the option of setting a follow-up interval. Lastly, fill in your notes about the case, which are required. To share a patient, scroll down to the bottom of the profile and press the share icon. This is useful for when you want a colleague such as a pathologist, plastic surgeon, or other specialist to quickly view a patient's case without providing a diagnosis or other type of action. To send a notification, make sure to check Send Notification. Once sent, your colleague will receive a notification by seeing a red dot next to the bell icon. Additionally, you can share a patient's profile outside of DermEngine by choosing Other when looking through your network list. Simply fill in your colleague's information and press Share. For security purposes, you are recommended to create an expiration and PIN code to ensure that the file is only accessed by the desired user. Just note, you do need to inform each recipient about their unique code. Now that you know how to image, analyze, document, and share on DermEngine, you're ready to get started. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll go over how to document your procedures and pathology diagnoses.